Lucy Treacher, and I'm going to walk you through this new sound adventure that is Resonate, and it really is alive with resonances. A traditional sample library is often about sampling things in isolation, but what if we were to let our instruments interact and resonate and collide together? What if, for instance, we were to put a thunder sheet over a barrel and bow it? Evelyn Glennie is a virtuoso percussionist and educator, and she's always been a huge inspiration to me coming from a similar neck of the woods in the north of Scotland. She's on a mission to teach the world to listen, and she herself experiences sound through vibrations in different parts of her body. Resonate is a percussion library that's beyond rhythm. It's about colour and performance, and Evelyn's conjured these incredible landscapes of sound. We've used technology and warps to help elongate these sounds and bring out the quirks and magic in these performances. This library is great for refreshing your existing orchestral palette, but it also adds individuality to epic scores and blends brilliantly with cutting edge sound design. Think Hildur Gudandotter or Johan Johansson. So let's dive in. So you'll see that we're in standard mode and we could switch between standard and grid mode up here. You'll notice that the library's divided in quite a unique way. It's actually divided by the resonators, so the vessels, if you like, over which the instruments have been played. You'll see we've got a timpani here, but the timpani hasn't strictly been played. Evelyn's put her homemade berimbulum on top of it and let the instruments resonate together. First, I'll show you the barrel resonator in action. And the ensemble patch actually condenses these samples into these handy kits. Uh, so this is the barrel kit. And something really nice with these kits is that the cymbal-like sounds are mapped in the black notes. So it feels like you're playing a drum kit, you're sort of reaching upwards and outwards, which is quite ergonomically satisfying. Let me show you the Super Bowl kit. And the Super Bowl is, of course, a mallet which you can drag across the surface of an instrument and it creates this incredible wail. Have a listen to the higher frequencies ringing on in this one. And it just stopped then. <laughs> and you can really hear that sweet stillness around the sound in, in our studios. If we want to access more specific kinds of instruments, we can head back to the menu and load up these patches. This is a snare drum with barrel sound. And you can hear how realistic and detailed the sampling is. Uh, it's really useful here to have these five round robins. It has such a rich depth to it, the tam-tam, -tam, which is made doubly resonant by the barrel. Uh, so it creates this hybrid sound. And I'll show you Super Bowl Long, which are longer performances by Evelyn, um, which have these organic fluctuations and uh, decorations. incredible evolutions uh, just playing those two notes. Moving on to the metal sounds now, uh, this is the trine which is an instrument uh, actually looks a bit like a metal Christmas tree and it's got a really ethereal vibe. And actually here we could use the two-handed layout which is a really um, great function
Then some grittier hits here. And the water foam which has these dreamy resonances. Another fantastic feature of this library is the ability to stretch the sounds. And so if I click on this dial and go up to stretch, at the moment it's at 50%, uh, so that's the sample as it normally is. But if I turn the dial down uh, to 0%, it's actually slowing it down by 25%. Likewise, if I crank it right up, uh, it will speed it up by 25%. So that's really handy, I think, if you want to make the sounds more bespoke to your composition um, to fit in with the rhythms and dynamics and, and climaxes within your piece. You'll see that the keyboard is mapped slightly differently on these longer performances. And that's because each performance is so individual. So you've got the option of using round robins. Or if you wanted to access a certain performance, you could find it mapped individually higher up. And you can further isolate these sounds uh, by clicking on one of these groups and the groups are divided by intensity and performance. So if I were to go to Tempest, again, you've got your option to use round robins or you have your three sounds mapped out. The wooden sounds with barrel are very multi-layered and menacing. Yeah, amazing for building up intense soundscapes. Moving on now to the timpani. And if we go to our ensemble, we've got our kits again. And what is a berimbulum, I hear you ask? Well, it's a one-of-a-kind instrument created by Evelyn, actually on her brother's farm in the north of Scotland. And she stumbled into some farming equipment and discovered these brassy prongs and these industrial creatures, which she's fed into this resonating box. Um, and it's got this wild sound. Have a listen. She's wonderfully inventive, Evelyn. Moving on to the paddle kit. And you can start to really get creative with this um, by going to the effects menu and playing around with the reverbs, of which there are some really wild ones. This is our whole reverb. Let me show you Canaris. And some other lovely ones, Gloam, which means twilight, uh, actually in Scots. So you can add some really creative warped sounds in there. In our timpani metal section, we've got some really cool instruments.
including an ektar. And we've also got these rather stunning rolls, which I'll show you with the dynamic fader. And finally, I'll show you the tuned instruments with the timpani. Um, and these are really amazing. This is the marimbula, which is like a giant kalimba, which you can actually sit on. Um, and we've got two different articulations here. and Marimbiola Mallet, which is a slightly harder tombra. And actually, I'm going to try that with Heirloom Contrabass Clarinet. And then there's the kalimba, which has got this lovely ghostly aftertone created by the resonating timpani. Now with the water tank, we're experimenting with the elements because of course water moves at its own will. And so this creates amazing pitch inflections and movement within the sounds. Let me show you close up some of these drum sounds. And of course the different mallets give quite a different timbre to each of these. Now we'll head to our metal selections and things are about to get very watery. Uh, so the water phone is this incredible instrument and it's actually inspired by a Tibetan water drum, a nail violin and the kalimba. So you could spend hours just Googling all these. Uh, and it's got these amazing metal rods which you can fill with water and that obviously gives it this incredible uh, dreamy fluctuating sound. And some of these instruments we've actually immersed in the water while playing them. I'd actually like to show you the signal mixer with this one. Uh, we've got some incredible options available. So we've got our normal microphone positions um, at the moment on mix one, which is the beautiful cinematic space at air uh, with some close up details. And of course, we've got the option here of choosing between close, tree and ambience. But if I scroll along, we've got a whole array of other options here. Uh, so this is a contact mic, which is a, an intimate close sound. A boundary mic, uh, which you often put on floors or on walls.
this signal is actually from two mics underwater, which is slightly mind-blowing. Then we've got Redux, which creates these interesting artifacts. Wave, my personal favorite, which has these delayed blurring uh, effects. Grains, which is a more granular effect. Then we've got vintage, a warmer sound with uh, less high frequencies. And our degrade, which does what it says on the tin. So extremely rich possibilities there. It's almost like you're creating another orchestra uh, with these different sounds. And now finally we have our thunder sheet. So using a thin sheet of metal as the resonator, uh, which creates these sizzling metallic sounds. And check out these bowed sounds. You can always create these crazy chords with them. Then there's these hits. And it's worth mentioning a few more of these effects we have available. So if I click on the dial, uh, we could use our compression effects if you want something slightly thicker and more consistent. And we've also got uh, our high pass filter and low pass filter. which of course we could automate as well by heading to the effects and right clicking. I've also got the option to adjust the velocity settings. So at the moment you'll hear um, it's all on my keyboard. But I've also got the option uh, to map these to the dynamic fader. And I can even change up here the velocity curve. I'm now going to show you the grid, which is a whole other percussive playground. And up here we can change from our standard engine uh, to our grid interface. In the menu, we've got loads of presets to choose from if you want some instant inspiration. And there's some great names here too, including drich, which is the Scottish word for drizzle. So if we head up to the top, I'm going to select the mixture. And you'll see this specially curated grid um, for us to play with. Our first row of sound, uh, it's the original sound recorded at air. So we've got the whole kit mapped across the keyboard. Our second row uh, is a manipulated version of that sound. And third row, fourth row, fifth row, sixth row. And then from there on, we move to a different kit using the barrel resonator. What's really fun is this randomized feature. And so if we want to shake things up a little, we can randomize the pins that are selected. I've selected paddle. So now you can see all the pins are randomized within this kit. Uh, we can do low hits. Likewise, um, those are randomized down there. One that I really love is visible, which randomizes within the pins that you see. 
which is super fun. And then there's walk, uh, which just moves everything up a smidge or down a smidge. If you're happy, uh, more or less with the sounds you want, but you want to change them very slightly, this is a really fun little tool. And we could select the volume of these different sounds and the panning of each sound, uh, which is super useful to have that within a kit. And you can select whether the sounds are going to the effects panel. And in here we've got our tape saturation, delay and our lovely reverbs again. I see the grid as essentially building your own kit of very bespoke sounds. I want to finally show you how Resonate works in a couple of different contexts. Firstly, Glennie meets Zimmer. Uh, so how Resonate can contribute to more epic sounding scores. And I've created a little loop using uh, Hans Zimmer percussion. And this is how it sounds with a whole lot of Resonate layers on top. So adding some additional spark and interest. And now to show it to you in a more ambient context, I've created this chord with Eric Whitaker Choir. And now I'm going to add lots of resonate layers to the mix. So Resonate is really helping to add a lot of ethereal atmosphere here. And I'm using the kalimba along uh, with the wave mic signal. Which is very dreamy. Um, along with this, some gong-like sounds uh, with the water phone and water kit. And the lovely trine, uh, which is adding these metallic punctuations. You can also hear the berimbulum at the very end, which I've actually tuned down and stretched out. Resonate is a really unique library and it's immersed in Evelyn's individuality as a musician. It's sure to give your sound palette a lot of sophistication and it's really amazing to have her performances at your fingertips. You can really hear her passion as a performer in every strike. Thanks so much for watching.